the critical creative reflection of Gone. Hi, I'm Ashley J. Mungo, a media studies student from Florida. I'm pro- my opening scene with my group members, Juliana, Anna Camilla, and Valeria. What our opening scene is about. Our opening scene is a thriller centered around a teenage girl, Cassandra, and her younger sister, Kiara. Kiara heads to the park begrudgingly where her younger sister, and while she's on the phone, Kiara is taken away by a man. The social groups are represented within my opening scene. So, first we'll start with the little girl. The little girl follows conventions of being a weak female and kidnapped by the antagonist, a stronger male figure, the kidnapper. As seen in shot 11, pulling her away. The This is a universal plot line that revolves around a majority of thriller movies, as seen in Captive, released in 2012. Here's a clip. I don't know what you're going to do about dinner. We actually just pulled up to the pie shop. You're going to have pie for dinner? We're going to have macaroni for dinner. We got leftover macaroni. We're going to put the, that on top of the pie. <laughs> this is going to be an awesome dinner. I didn't have chocolate ice cream, so... Guess? Yes! 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 You can see that the small girl in the, in the, in the clip is, gets kidnapped and taken away while her dad goes to find her. And... We, in in our opening scene, we we attempted to portray a disconnect between Kisara and, and Kiara, until and then once she realizes that her sister is gone, she she realizes how much Kiara has her whole life, which is another convention of thriller. The the conventions of thriller, so. So conventions are what makes a thriller movie a thriller movie and just like general rules that all, if you're trying to fit into a genre, that all genres should have. For example, in thriller movies like mine, they should, music should have like a slow tempo in order to create suspense or uncertainty. Heightened diegetic sounds such as a phone ringing, a dark color palette, dark black clothing, Isolated locations, a lot of close-up shots to portray emotion of the characters, and the aim is to create suspense and excitement and to get the audience to be scared. There's also a lot of also a lot of violence portrayed in these films. The mise en scene. The the mise en scene is everything within frame. Um, the mise-en scene in the production brand sets the tone for the rest of the opening scene. With the red font, dark white background, and the menacing music to complete the tense atmosphere. The title scene was created using an editing app called Cave Cut. The title scene reminds me of the of the hit thriller horror film, It, with the glowing red color and the rigid font. The mise-en scene is dark and depressing. The clothing, location, makeup, and expression of the opening scene is dispiriting. You could see from the picture on the left that the park is generally isolated and the char- and the character Kiandra- Cassandra is wearing gray a gray hoodie and a black pants which is a dark dark clothing. You can also see her hair is in a messy button which is generally depressing. Showing she has no effort in her like appearance. She's a p- she looks disheveled until the flashback where everything is seemingly mundane communicate the ruinous events that occur during her life to make her this way. The lighting and this also is a little dimmer though we try to make it dimmer with the filter and we use minimal props such as a teddy bear and a poster just to communicate that Kiara is missing and like you know to show that she's missing. This also it, we use the teddy bear in our last shot which when, she, when, when Cassandra, when Cassandra finds her taper on the ground which indicates that she's gone after calling her name a couple of times. We took inspiration from the movie The Call which features a woman walking alone amongst the street wearing a monotone color scheme and like gray appearance within the film. Cinematography. The cinematography is something I've ever seen. This is something we did very perfectly. Not saying that everything else didn't have purpose but I just enjoy planning it out personally. Um, it starts with various long and medium shots for like establishing the location and just goes closer and closer to capture her emotion and how she's feeling do- throughout the the first few f- 
shots. Um, she's Cassandra is like panicked, distressed teenager, can can like contributing to the tension of the shots and displaying her actions, pulling out the paper, and all that. As you see to the image on the left, it's a it's a close up displaying like how distraught she is. Actions of cinematography and and thriller films are generally close ups and extreme close ups and high end angle shots, which we couldn't we weren't able to to get up there because the tripod kind of limited us because it wasn't that tall editing the sound we i decided to go with slow pace cuts to con follow the conventions of thriller and we had a uh, very suspenseful music you could see that you could hear in the in the when the old piece the music rises with the actions and the phone call was generally drawing for the audience which also follows conventions of thriller they there was some silence in the beginning of the film which is like min just minimal ma nature sounds and which also helps with the me sense scene i mean which also helps with the general su suspenseful feel of into questions why she's crying um and the editing you'll see a dark filter in some of the shots and just flashes of black where it cuts just to, to shot the black to like create suspension i mean to create tension we just cut and we just fade and fade out for the for the flashback, and we um, we use like minimal camera movement too. What else is there? My intended audience, the target audience of my opening scene were teenagers around the lower to middle class range. They said enjoy thriller films or horror films such as The Shining. The higher class went like for higher class they wouldn't relate to certain details such as you know being forced to watch your younger sibling. Because, you know, they could probably for nannies. To engage with my audience, me and my group trying to create a captivating plot with, like, that makes sense and flows together. And it's full of stress and anxiety and tension just to get the viewer scared. My production company. For my production company, I would do Paramount Pictures. It's evident with, like, with big hits, with big thriller hit, with big thriller movies such as Scream and G.I. Joe Ever Vigilant. These are two well known multi millionaire box office thrillers produced by Paramount Predictions. They have a lot more, and it would just be best to be exhibited on Netflix, a popular streaming service for young teenagers and adults, which is also my intended audience. Around 6% of Netflix users are 18. To 35 years old which is our intended audience for the before and after so here's an example of my my first time editing the opening scene so see look you could i'm gonna speed this up because it'll take too long if i exam everything but you can see the 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 first thing you notice is the the font of the of the title which isn't very like it really isn't thriller like it just looks basic and then you'll see the the background is like just like you know a black and white filter which doesn't really look nice and also has that thing on it and look at them the music is very different because <laughs> we hear the op the crying sounds which does not fit my character at all and the fast little sub credits at the bottom we also had a oh we also had to reshoot this scene because the pink logo logo was copyrighted and yeah <laughs> We had to get rid of this scene where I was wearing my eyes because I was laughing in it. And, you know, it wasn't very good acting. It, wasn't, it was, like, worse than, you know, my usual. And then it's basically the same except, for, but we, but, you know, you could still, see, you could see Valeria, but not behind, you could, she could clearly see that she's a woman. When we want to picture her, like, a, like a man will follow convention of thriller better. And, you know, the, wonky, the, wa the walking scenes were, like, still a bit wonky. And yeah, the the bear scene was bad because you know I said I'm picking it up so I had to reshoot that scene and then I and then it just ended weird when when like the flashback came back and I was just sitting there on the bench crying so our teacher advised us to end it on a cliffhanger with us finding the table and here's revised 
So you see the font is definitely a lot better than the other one. And then you can see that the shot is different compared to this one. Wait, cause you know, of uh, because of the copyright. Um, we did use the same shot of the the poster though because we can find it find it from the this day. The editing is overall just better. You can see the credits at the bottom. They got they got a good font and like just better text. You see the music is rising with the with the suspense of the film. And then yeah, the, the black cuts is something I really like that we put in there. It just adds a lot of tension and suspense to the opening scene. You can see, like, if you just look closely, um, this is a lot, oh wait, and you can't see, but because the filter, but this is a lot darker from the original shot. I don't know if I could find it, but yeah. There's a lot of black and what, there's like a, a lot of black, cuts of black, you know, just to add suspense, and then it finally ends on the shot of me finding Saber. And the heartbeats in the background, so they are like. Technology is used. We for for technology is used. I used a an iPhone to record the shots. My Juli I mean Juliana's phone we used to record the shots. She was our main like cinematographer. And we used Valeria's tripod. She also helped a lot a lot with the record with the filming of our opening scene. We we learned how to adjust a tripod because it was like it was very hard to for for some reason, and we also used this editing software called V Video, and which was very like complicated to learn for like the first couple of days. But after a while, we got the hang of it. We could have used a little bit improvement, maybe you know, you know. Although the stages were te tedious. They had a great effect on the quality of the opening scene by constantly looking over the plot, script, and the storyboard. When we started fil filming, we kept re referencing the storyboard to see if our shots lined up and see if we got all the shots together. The revision scene was one that was time-consuming, having to go through two, back to the park twice to, re to reshoot shots due to the copyright issues and someone who misread the storyboard. But looking back, I appreciate the grueling steps to fil filming every shot in the heat outside in Florida, you know, to achieve the perfect, almost perfect opening scene. Thank you for listening.